What about Boris Johnson? That was big news in the UK. There will now be three by-elections. Two former colleagues have walked with him. A lot of people, like Nigel Farage, are saying that the, the Tory party isn't what it used to be and they will suffer pretty hard in the, the upcoming general election. For sure. I think um, there's a couple things that are simultaneously probably true. One is, you know, he's certainly mishandled or maybe even misled on, on party gate. We don't know what's in his heart and soul uh, with that, but, you know, that happened. And it just shows sort of there's irony or poetic justice. It's one more level on which lockdowns were such a bad policy. If he had never locked down, he never would have been in that boat. The other part, I think, what Farage and others say is, as imperfect as he may be, he was the strongest populist in the mm -hmm. party and probably most in favor, truly in favor of Brexit to some extent, versus there's a lot of other brinos. They call them Brexit in name only. <laughs> and so they do want to maybe take out the populist and that allows him a return to remain or some version of that referendum being brought back again in the future potentially. So I do think there's some truth to the, the witch hunt narrative that he's framed this against.